E. The position of Executive Secretary to the Board of Selectmen is hereby abolished, effective not more than two weeks following the appointment of the Town Administrator, or November 1st, whichever occurs first. The Executive Secretary may be a candidate for the Office of Town Administrator, but nothing contained in the Charter shall be deemed to grant to the incumbent of said office at the time the Charter is adopted, a right to assume automatically, such office. F. Until such time as another provision is made by, by law, in accordance with the requirement of Section 2-3, the fall session of the town meeting, shall be held on the third Tuesday of October, annually. G. Until such time as another provision is made by, by law. The following additional requirements of publication shall apply to the notice of vacancy provisions of Section 7-8. Publication. In addition to the posting on town bulletin boards, required by Section 7-8, of the Charter. The appointing authority shall cause to be published, in a local newspaper, a notice of any such vacancy, or impending vacancy, at least two weeks prior to the date, on which action is taken to fill the vacancy. Wareham Charter Commission. Wareham, Massachusetts Minority Report. Submitted by Elizabeth and Carmichael. 10, January 1977. I, Elizabeth and Carmichael, am the minority member of the Wareham Charter Commission, and this is my minority report. I was elected by you, the voters of Wareham, to serve as a member of your Charter Commission. I believe that those who voted for me, would have expected me to be, myself, at all times and not, go along with, or support, change, just because other members of the Charter Commission were doing so. I could not support what I do not believe to be in the best interest of the town of Wareham. My interest and my support of good, effective, efficient, and viable local government is of long standing. I did not come to serve as a member of this commission unacquainted with the structure of our town's government, and the way in which it has functioned. I have served the town of Wareham in a number of capacities as a member of various boards, commissions, and committees. I have been involved in discussion, debate, and determination of many issues affecting our town over a long period of time. I have attended Cape Cod Community College towards my degree in local and state government. I believe my background, experience, and education have given me a frame of reference in which to judge, to evaluate, and to choose among several alternative courses of action, which were available, but not considered, by the Charter Commission, for the future structure of Wareham's government. In addition to attending virtually all of the Charter Commission meetings, I spent, on the average, 15 hours each week in outside research and study. I wish I could say all of this time and effort was well spent, and that I could recommend you, my fellow citizens, adopt the Charter. Regretfully, I cannot. In my judgment adoption of this proposal would be a negative, rather than a positive act for the good of the town. It would represent a step backward rather than forward. I am pleased that I participated in the weekly deliberations of the Charter Commission, because many ideas I fought for are included in the Charter. I would specifically point to much of the material in Article 5, regarding town budgets. I believe that giving the Finance Committee more time to consider warrant articles can only be a positive force. The publication of information to voters well in advance, before they are to act on them, can serve only as another step forward. These same provisions, however, can be gained by a vote at town meeting. We do not have to accept the Charter, to move forward in this area, to improve our town government. I am also pleased, that a provision to recall our elected officials who have lost the confidence of the voters has been included. But, may I say here, that this provision can be added without adoption of this Charter, through placing a referendum question on the ballot. My disagreement with the other members of the Charter Commission centers on Article 4, the Town Administrator. In my judgment this article in the form in which it is written, will separate the citizens of Wareham from their government. No longer will the people have a direct say on who runs the town, and how it is run. The powers the Charter would give to the Administrator are tremendous. He would be a virtual dictator. The only power our elected selectmen would have over him, if they disagree or disapprove of the way he is performing his duties, would be to fire him. This could not only put the town in a state of constant turmoil, but could also be quite costly. If the selectmen saw fit to discharge him, this charter proposal could cost the taxpayers 45 days pay after his dismissal, and could exceed up to three months. In the meantime, according to this charter proposal, the selectmen would have to either appoint a temporary administrator or hire another one, whichever comes first. This could cost the taxpayers double the amount. I have spent a considerable amount of my own time examining and evaluating this most important aspect of our town government structure. I have interviewed our own selectmen, I have looked closely at the governmental structure of our sister town of Bourne, I listened to many intelligent, knowledgeable guest speakers from many different facets of government, all of whom have been involved in one form or another for a great length of time. 
after both listening about and studying many different types of government, I feel strongly in favor of, primarily, a mayor-council form, while retaining town meeting.